So we're here today, we're going to zero the weapon that I'm going to be using uh, on the journey to Alaska. I'll be hunting uh, Sitka blacktail and uh, I'll actually be hunting some sea duck on my downtime. So with that being said, Brad Starr uh, from Performance Guns um, allowed me the opportunity to use one of his firearms. Uh, he was kind enough to send this to me um, as a gift and I uh, just want to you know, thank you for that Brad and uh, the quality and craftsmanship behind this thing is just phenomenal. So it's a, it's a 30-06 uh, with a ride-on scope. Um, you know, the, the trigger, the bolt, uh, the muzzle, I mean, everything's all tied in. It's not just for looks, but you know, it does add to it. It looks pretty bad, right? Um, so we're gonna fire this thing at 50 yards. Uh, we're gonna dope the scope and allow for the 100 yards, and then I'll compensate from there. Um, uh, you know, again, just I just want to say thank you, Brad, Performance Guns. It's uh, it's in line with the last two. <laughs> then one down and two to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just uh, j just random shooting, you know, just bantering back and forth. Every hunter, you know, everybody's hunting with a gun. Everybody's pulling the trigger. Everybody's taking game. But it's the character, uh, you know, that, that creates that, that everybody wants to see. You know, whether it's the beard or, or just the way somebody talks, you know, they carry themselves. Like, that. people are attracted to that. Like Joe Rogan, for instance, you know, the guy's podcast. He talks all the time. But he's just, he's a comedian as well, so. Are you saying you're attracted to Joe Rogan? I'm not attracted to Joe Rogan. I mean, it's okay if you are. <sighs> yeah. No. Is he like a man crush? Is that what it's called? <laughs> no. A bromance. A bromance. Joe Rogan, if you're watching this, love you, buddy. All right. So we've adjusted for our fine friend. We should be dead nuts. I'm gonna go with dead nuts. All right, so we've just completed uh, zeroing this, uh, this rifle. And uh, you know, it's only 50 yards, so what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, when I get there, we're gonna have to re-zero for the 100 yards because during the flight, you know, the rifle's gonna get bumped around, you know, the sight might be knocked off. But anyway, so we're gonna change elevation, you know, pressure, things like that. And with all that, the variables, we're gonna try to control as much as that as possible. So we, we will, we, we will re-zero when we get there. Just arrived at the Lakeview Hotel in Anchorage. Got my bags, my rifle case, made it safe and sound. Yeah, so headed up to the room now. We'll see what that looks like. Big old pack, I had to double up. So let's go and check this out. He wanted to close the door on me. I'm on the right floor. Uh oh, I'll get back to you. So we're leaving the lodge. Uh, headed to Anchorage Airport to intersect a Raven to fly over to Kodiak Island. So we'll see you there. Got dropped off near the gold mine with uh, 
with my new buddy Jason. Jason, say hello. Hello. And so, uh, I think, how old, you, how old would you say this is? Uh, the area? Yeah. Oh, uh, Well, what do you think the gold mine? 100. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got a little bit of uh, ruins here, some tailings and uh, some remnants of uh, ye old days. So we're gonna, we're gonna muck about and uh, try to share some footage and uh, maybe even uh, see some deer show you guys. shafts they were pulling gold out in the late 18 early 1900s this was the gold that the Aleutian was carrying when it hit Aleutian rock that was unmapped until it hit it and sank with all the gold on board it wasn't found till like the 1980s with no gold on board imagine that odd Probably how I would have put it too. If you could see that trail. We were up, we were up there just this morning. Came down, followed this line right here, sank down, came around, and we sat there and watched, like I said, eight or nine deer. All over here, here. Uh, I believe there's even one back up over here. Yeah, there's a nice one that come out of this area right here. And then he came toward us, but then he went the other way. Of course, he didn't have a rack on him. It's promising. It's a good sign, good sign. So we're gonna sit on this ledge, the ledge right here. We're gonna look this way for sheep. Still gonna glass for deer. And then I believe today we are going to make our way down. On the beach there. Doe and a fawn. We've got a lone ranger over here. They come down to feed. It's about a 297 yard shot off the lane on the beach there, by the blood trail. We're gonna go low and slow and see, see where I hit him at. I wasn't real confident, but at least we know we hit him. So let's see. Look at that. Performance guns. Right on optics. Boom. Let's see if we got a good enough hit. We're still on his trail. He's still pumping hot. See where he stumbled? Uh, my opinion is just a matter of finding his uh, within the next few. Probably within the next 30, 40 yards, I imagine we find him. He's uh, it's pumping pretty good. He's starting to stumble up a little more. It's kind of hard not to chase him down though because of bears. And... 
the places he could go and hide, so. Hey, so got off the boat, laid down, and I shot him. I think I shot him a little ways back because he limped a ways. But uh, so, you know, we, we didn't want to give him a whole lot of time because of the bears out here. And, uh, you know, the, the terrain is crazy. If he would have went up, I mean, we could have lost him at any moment. So we followed the blood trail. We, I hit him good enough to, to follow the blood trail. And uh, luckily I had uh, my performance gun here I brought with me. And, uh, you know, I made a good hit. Uh, enough blood trail so we could track him. We got down here. We gave him a few minutes and uh, saw he was suffering a little bit. So I just took that final shot, put him down. And uh, sure enough, here he is. And man, let me tell you, you know, from the beach, I saw that he was kind of outside the ears a little bit. And uh, so just to confirm, you know, I didn't want to take anything just to be shooting animals out here. And, I, you know, I wanted something to represent Kodiak. I wanted something to represent, you know, who I am as a hunter and uh, also the people that I associate with. So thank you, Jason. Thank you, Ride On. Thank you, Performance Guns and Arctic Shield.